And today the Broncos added Patrick Sertan II to the list. They paid their star cornerback on a four-year extension. It's worth $96 million, $77.5 million guaranteed. And if you're wondering in context how much money is that, it is a lot. The top of that cornerback market had really been stagnant for the past couple of years since the Packers paid Jair Alexander. He was still the highest paid corner until today. Now remember, the Broncos have Patrick Sertan under contract now for the next six years. But what matters here is the new years because you're doing this contract early. It is in a reset on that cornerback market and Patrick Sertan getting paid handsome. Oh, man, a massive, massive payday for Patrick Sertan. You know, the kind of jump that we rarely see reminds me of when Jalen Ramsey got that five-year, $100 million deal. I believe it was 2020. I mean, that was a, a more than $3 million jump. This is just as significant for Patrick Sertan. The numbers, you saw it. I mean, truly massive. Four years, $96 million, $77.5 million guaranteed. In the next nine months, he will make $39.5 million million dollars almost a comical amount and look there you can make the argument that the wide receiver salaries have for fair or not outpaced the uh, salaries of the corners and the safeties who actually cover them well maybe now this corner market is getting a little bit of a jump a little bit of a comeback and maybe the salaries are going to start inching closer i know that is the goal especially of the people who play those positions the people who represent the people who play those positions but if you're the denver broncos I believe you have a franchise quarterback in Bo Nix, and man, you have a defensive linchpin locked up in Patrick Sertan. There were a lot of questions a few years ago for Broncos GM George Payton about taking Patrick Sertan over the quarterback, Justin Fields, who went a couple picks later when the Bears traded up. Hindsight 2020 on everything here, but the Broncos got one of the best young players in the entire NFL. They open up this weekend against the Seahawks. The Cleveland Browns open up.